here with the man of the hour, Jamison Crowder. I sh <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? I mean, <laughs> man, nobody knows that I was a rapper in my former life. Um, all right, so you started with this franchise. What is it? It's a long time ago. Not really that long. Not that, Not that long. long ago, right. Right. Um, but you came right into it, right? Give me the aha moment for you where you said, oh, okay, this is the NFL. I mean, I, like you got it. Somebody hits you, somebody covered you. You're like, oh, okay. Uh, well, I'll say I, I think that that uh, my whole rookie year, that 2015 year, was like a, it was a, you know, I was, it was a blessing, but it was like a, a, a shock, you know, just knowing that you in the NFL, going to different stadiums, playing against different players that you watched uh, as a young kid. Um, so I can't really like pinpoint one specific moment. I just okay. think that whole year was, it was a cool experience, but it was also like, man, I gotta, you know, I gotta tighten my game. Up. Right. Well, look, this franchise had Sean Taylor, where wideouts would come across and kind of peek to see where he's at. Is there a guy in the league? Did you kind of always keep an eye on making sure that you know where he's at? Uh, well, I, well, yeah, that, uh, that 2015 year we played against the Carolina Panthers. And, uh, you know, being a slot guy, man, I had a lot of, you know, routes against backers and stuff. I definitely was uh, taking note, making sure that I knew where uh, Luke Keekley and, and Thomas <laughs> Davis was at. So yeah. that's one game for sure I can remember specifically. Right. Uh, just, you know, making sure I knew where those guys were at. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, all right, so do you know, so you come back. And mm -hmm. I think I wanted that first interview we did with your first day back or second day, whatever it was, you made a point of saying, yeah, I didn't like exactly the way that things ended it with the Giants uh, when you left in August. Can you expound on that? What were you expecting to happen there? Uh, well, I, mean, I thought I definitely uh, gave myself a shot of, you know, obviously making the 53-man roster. Mm -hmm. um, I had a really good OTAs. I had a, you know, really good um, training camp uh, up there and everything. So, you know, I did, I did all I could do to make sure. the team, obviously. And, um, you know, things didn't work out. And, um, you know, that was a, a, a definitely a feeling I didn't like. But, yeah. you know, I landed, I landed back on my feet here. And, um, you know, I'm excited. Um, and I'm just still trying to, you know, make plays and do what I can to help out the ball club. So when the phone rings, who's calling you from this franchise and what's your reaction? Uh, well, so my, uh, so actually my agent reached out to me. Okay. Um, I was actually, I was headed to the Duke and Clemson game that night and he reached out to me and, um, Duke and <laughs> yeah, the Duke and Clemson game. And, uh, he told me that, you know, Washington wanted to bring me in and, um, you know, possibly put me on, on, on the P squad and, mm -hmm. and possibly return punts, um, week one. So I was like, you know, why not? So I ended up coming up here and you know, I've been here since, you know, week one. Yeah, you have. And yeah. I talked to coach last week. He said, not only are you still a great returner, I think you're seventh in the league right now as far as punt returns go. Mm -hmm. But he's also acclimating himself to the, the passing game, and he did it pretty quickly. How difficult is that with an EB offense? I mean, it's, it's definitely difficult. Uh, like I said, man, you know, being in OTAs with, with in OTAs and training camp with one team and then having to come in and try to pick up a, a, a totally different offense uh, quickly, um, it definitely has been a challenge. But I feel like I picked it up. Um, you know, for the most part, and I'm just waiting for my opportunity to get out there and, and help those guys on the offense, for sure. You had a 61-yard punt return a couple of weeks ago. Uh, you know the last time that this franchise had a punt return go for a touchdown? Yeah, that was uh, 2016. <laughs> who, who did that? <laughs> uh, me. Against yeah. The, yeah, against the Ravens. So, um, you yeah, know, nah, man, it was, a, it, it, was a, it was a cool thing, man, to go, you know, be out there uh, and, and have that long return. Um, we should have had we should have had one this this past week against the mm -hmm. Giants. Um, we let one get away. Uh, you know we had to got to clean some things up. But uh, we 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 almost had another big return, and a lot of people don't know that. But right. on the film, you can see, man. If we if we Which just one? it was the very first one. It really? opened up, and uh, you know we just had one one guy was just out of kind of out of out of, out of place. Right. And uh, if he was you know where he needed to be, we would have had another long return. But uh, but you know that's just thing we got to learn from and just keep going. Um, you know, I think special teams wise, man, we got a really good special teams unit and mm -hmm. we can, uh, you know, obviously break, break, break games open and be a spark for the team um, in the special teams area. Listen, viewers will never understand. There might be a few folks out there who see this and go, you know, I returned kicks and punts back in high school. They'll never understand. You took a shot yep. in that Giants game. Yep. So when that ball's in the air, what are you thinking? Uh, well, I mean, my main thing is always to possess the football first and foremost. Um, and you got to be, you definitely have to be confident back there. Uh, you know, I, I feel like right now my confidence is, is out the roof. Right. Um, you know, for whatever reason, that's just how I am right now. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like I said, man, I'm, I'm waiting on my, on my opportunity to get on the offense. But on, on the special team side, man, I'm just, I'm just confident. And, uh, you know, anytime the ball is kicked to me, I'm trying to, you know, obviously flip the field position and uh, help out the offense. But I'm also trying to take it as far as I can, obviously trying to score. Right. All right. So, man, let's set the, the elephant in the room is that you're a Duke guy. Yeah. I'm a Maryland guy. I think <laughs> when you were at Duke, Maryland was still in the ACC for a few years. Yeah, for my first two years. So you're a footballer at mm -hmm. Duke. 
By the way, do they have a football team? Come on now. I know they do. I know they do. It's been very good. Did you go to basketball games? Yes, I did. Did you? What's yeah. that like at the Cameron Indoor? Oh, uh, man, very energetic, man. Very loud. Um, you know, obviously, it's, it's the best arena, best gym, best atm- college atmosphere in college basketball. Mm. Uh, you know, we, are, we, we have a historic program. Um, you know, it's, it's a great experience, man. So I, anytime I can get a chance, I will get a chance to go. I would definitely go to the basketball game. So, so little Jamison Crowder is playing football. What's the first meeting? I'm, I'm assuming that you ran across Coach K at some point. Yeah, I did. What do you I met him. Uh, yeah, I met him in. Uh, um, actually, I met him in the elevator uh, on campus, <laughs> and it was uh, actually kind of crazy. He shook my hand, and he told me that I was a heck of a, a football player, and that really? he been watching my, you know, watching my game, um, you know, over the past few years, and that uh, you know he really admired my game. So it was a cool experience. Did you say? Did you play ball when you were in high school? I did play basketball in high school. Did you like say, hey, Coach K? Uh, you know, if you need somebody? No, <laughs> no I didn't, but they definitely could have used me on the basketball court for sure. <laughs> Jamison Crowder, very confident. <laughs> yes, sir, for sure. <laughs>